When remembering all the cell organelles, it's important to put it to an analogy. And the analogy I'm going to give you today is based off of Stranger Things. Now, if you've seen it, you know exactly what I mean. And if you haven't, I'm sorry for the spoiler. The first stop on today's analogy is the cell membrane, which function is to let certain things in and out of the cell. And my comparison to that would be the upside down world where it's just letting crazy things in, like demogorgons, demodogs, the people, everything, in and out, there you go. Next, we have the endoplasmic reticulum, or the ER, which basically allows for movement around the cell. And the comparison to that, to Stranger Things, would be the hub. This was dug underground by demodogs, and later on, hey, what do you know? They used it as their own passageways to allow for movement throughout the city. Next, we have the nucleus of the cell, which is basically the control center of the cell and makes all the decisions. And I compare that to Mike of Stranger Things, because this is the head honcho of the group. He makes all the decisions, and he is the man. He is the myth. He is the legend. Next, we have the nucleolus, which stores all the records and plans, just like my man Hop. This dude has got the plans. He's got it all going on. Follow him, you know where you're going. Let him be the leader, and you lead him towards success. He is the man. Now that the ribosomes have made their appearance, it's an easy comparison to make to Stranger Things. We got Benny Burgers. And my man has been supplying Eleven with that protein, giving her the burger, everything she needs. Unfortunately, it had to come to an end, but hey, Benny's Burgers, keeping it real. The whole purpose of the Golgi bodies and the Golgi apparatus is to transport proteins in the cell. My comparison on the Stranger Things would be the bicycles that the boys ride. They'd be riding them all around town, from school to their epic Dungeons and Dragons meetings, what have you. They just get them there. The whole purpose of the lysosomes in the cell is to dispose of waste. And Andre, the Russian hitman, the machine-like demeanor and terrifying combat prowess he brings to Stranger Things does just that. The vacuole stores water and nutrients, just as the basement on Stranger Things stored pretty much just about everything, from their Dungeons and Dragons meetups to their wild excursions, especially storing Eleven the greatest of all for quite some time. Finally, we get down to the main event that you have all been waiting for. When are you gonna mention Eleven? When's Elle gonna come into the story? Just now. The mitochondria, which produces energy for the cell. Eleven does just that. This is the girl. She is the queen, the goddess that rules the whole show, producing that energy constantly every episode. It makes you wanna come back for more. And to conclude my cell analogy to Stranger Things, we have the chloroplast, which turns sunlight into glucose, which is sugar, which is something sweet, and sweet Nancy Wheeler is. She has the most innocence in that smile, and she can turn any impossible situation into something good or sweet.